All right, so I'm going to be taste testing 34 different flavors of Hagen dazs ice cream. I'm pretty sure there were a few others, but I didn't see any. Um, they had a really good sale, so probably a lot of the flavors were just gone. I went to like four different Safeways, so this is the best I could do. Hopefully, it's good enough. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm going to be taste testing them in alphabetical order. If they fell and, and got out of order, I'm sorry. But uh, if you're looking for a specific flavor, feel free to fast forward through. It's in alphabetical order, so as long as you know how to organize things by alphabetical order, you should be able to figure out where it is. Alright, so we're going to try the black and white cookie ice cream first. I already did a video showing the um, the container with the nutrition facts and ingredients, so if you're interested in that, I'll put a link to that in the description below and also pin a comment. Alright, so let's try this one. All right, so I got a cup with a bunch of clean spoons in it and then one for putting the dirty spoons so that way they're not cross-contaminating, though I can't, I'm not going to be cleaning out my mouth after each one because that's a lot of times. Um, so anyways, here's the black and white cookie. A few of these are actually pre-opened because we ate them earlier. So um, yeah, the label or this seal is going to be gone and you're going to see a bunch scooped out. But anyways... I don't like to waste this, so usually I'll eat this. I'm going to set it aside for now, and we're going to have a spoon. So you can see what it looks like with this swirling. Okay, there's some, like, bigger swirly stuff in there. And then it, this looks kind of like a cookies and cream. So you want to try first? Probably use the same spoon so we don't have to <laughs> wash, like, double the spoons. You just... That is cross -cut. Okay, never mind. You eat it. <laughs> Usually I'll eat it without touching my mouth on it to do that, but... Okay, there we go. Mmm. It's like an extra cookie cookies and cream. <laughs> but it could be just because I ate the big chunk. <laughs> but it's good. Okay. Yeah, to me it tastes like a cookies and cream, but with a lot more cookie flavor. So we're going to set this one aside and let's go grab the next one. Okay, here's the second one. We got the, oops, got the bourbon praline pecan. Okay, let's open that up. That's what it looks like. I'm going to have a lot of spoons to wash. <laughs> okay. I don't think I'm going to like this one. Okay, let's see what you think. I'm not even going to eat this one. Mm. Sweet. Um, I don't know how to describe that. I usually hate alcohol, but to me it's not bad. It tastes like um, very sweet whiskey. Hmm. Okay, I don't really drink much, so you'll have to take her word for it. <laughs> so, <laughs> there you go. I don't know. I like it. And then it has the little bits of um, the pecan in it, or pecan, whatever you want to call it. All right, next one. Okay, here we have the bourbon vanilla bean truffle. I think she already tried this one and she didn't like it. I liked it. I'm going to eat another. <laughs> I'm going to eat another one. What did this one taste like to you? Same thing, except it has, except it has like crunchy chocolate bits in it, I think. It tastes about the same, similar. Yes, very sweet bourbon mm. with chocolate chunks. Hmm. Blech. The chocolate's overpowering <laughs> to me. <laughs> to me, when I eat a chocolate chunk with it, I mainly just taste the chocolate. But to me, it tastes good as well. And I usually hate alcohol, so very light on. To me, very light on the alcohol flavor. But <laughs> to you, no. No. All right. Next one. Okay, now we removed the <laughs> alcohol from it. We got butter pecan without the alcohol. So let's see. I don't know what these little dots are, but let's take it out. We got some dominoes going on. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this one, you have to get a pecan in there. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! <laughs> Don't eat that. <laughs> All right, let's give this one a taste. 
time. Mm -hmm. Nutty goodness. Nice flavor. Nice pecan. Sweet, creamy. Yeah, very good. The ice cream itself doesn't have like a strong flavor to me. It's it's mostly just a sweet, creamy flavor. And then the pecans are like added. All right, next one. All right, now we got caramel cone or caramel cone, whatever, you, however you want to pronounce it. Okay. This one was kind of already peeling up. This one's probably going to be too sweet for you. <laughs> let's, let's see. I'm going to have to wash the spoons after this one. Okay. Mm. Very caramelly. Mm -hmm. Sweet caramel. The only thing is, there's no crunchy cone. It's like stale cone. <laughs> I have the chocolate coating. You have the chocolate there for kind of the texture, but you don't get the crunch like the, the cones. The outside is soggy, but the inside you had has a, crunchy. a little bit of crunch. Mm. Mm. But yeah, if you like it really crunchy, you probably want to get those um, drumsticks. <laughs> All right, next one. Okay, next one is cherry vanilla. So she hates cherry ice cream, and she said it tastes like cough medicine or something to her. To me, I like it, so... I don't think you need to try this one, right? No. <laughs> so to her, it tastes like cough syrup. So to me, it tastes good. So that's what it looks like. Oh, and there are cherry chunks in here, but as you can see, I'm scooping and I'm not finding much. But there are, there are, I don't know if I should dig through and actually find a cherry chunk. <laughs> no. But they'll put like somewhat big pieces of cherry in there. So it's just, I guess it's too expensive to put a bunch. What? You gonna try some? <laughs> oh. <laughs> See, it makes her it makes cool. her puke. Mm. I like it. Um, it's not the usual cherry ice cream flavor to me. It tastes different, but yeah, it's not as strong of that that cherry flavor that they put it kind of tastes anyways, nutty to me little nutty mm -hmm. anyways here's the chocolate one and i know she likes this one so <laughs> <clears throat> see here you go and this is just chocolate <laughs> don't touch that oreo <laughs> it's not ice cream for you <laughs> so here you go Mm. Very nice, super creamy, chocolatey ice cream flavor. Very good. Probably one of the better or best chocolate ice creams, I think. Then we got chocolate chip cookie dough. And right now you're going to see how much we like this one. <laughs> so, this one's missing a lot already because we ate them with like those little cones. And it's pretty good. I don't know if you want now. Yeah, here you go. Gonna have to wash some more spoons. It has nice chunks of cookie dough in there and chocolate chips. Mm. Mm, best mm -hmm. cookie dough ice cream. Very good. I don't know if you can actually bake cookies with these, but pretty good. It does have eggs in it, so maybe. Chocolate peanut butter. Okay. Wow, that looks very chocolatey. Well, I guess it's a chocolate ice cream base, and then they put peanut butter in it. The peanut butter is like kind of crunchy feeling, scooping it. So let's see. Do you like peanut butter? I don't know. <laughs> Look, there's like a layer of peanut butter there. Reminds me of a um, Butterfinger mm. bar. Butterfinger? Mm -hmm. mm. 
It's like eating Butterfinger. Hmm. Maybe. Butterfinger uses peanut butter? I thought it was like the whatever that crunchy... Is that crunchy stuff peanut butter? I don't know. Seriously? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't know. It's, it's like a weird crispy texture. I thought it was something else. All right. Chocolate peanut butter pretzel. So I'm assuming this is going to be very similar to the other one, but with like pretzel bits. So I guess, uh oh, I'm guessing if you don't get the pretzel bits, then it's going to be just like the other one. That's not good. Okay. Okay. Oh, this one's hard to scoop. There's like a hard layer underneath. Probably the peanut butter or something. Oh, did I dig into like a... There's like chocolate chips in there. <clears throat> oh, I see. There's some pretzels. Got it. No. <clears throat> I fell. Oh. Here. Look Here you go. <laughs> no! <laughs> I get another one. You really do want me to have that piece. Here, take another one. I'll get that one and eat it. I'm not getting the pretzels, I think. Oh, I got a little bit. Mm. This one's messy. <laughs> hmm. The pretzel I kinda is like very it. soggy. Really? Mine was crispy-ish. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like a crispy pretzel. It's like, um... I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Okay, I need to clean this stuff up. I'll be back. But, um, I kind of like the flavor. It's like chocolate ice cream with... Kind of salty. Yeah. Um, and, and chocolate chunks. Maybe the crunch that I got was from the chocolate, not from the pretzels. <laughs> I think it was a chocolate chip. sucked on pretzels <laughs> that your toddler child left <laughs> Okay, sure. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. All right, let's see what we got next. So, okay, another one that I know for sure you like. We got coffee. Okay, we haven't opened this one yet. We actually have a giant tub. Should I just open this? I'm just going to open it anyways. <laughs> hey, they cheated us. What's with this big hole in <laughs> What is that? <laughs> what is that? Okay, well, we know this one's good. Huggin' Dawes is somewhat known for their coffee ice cream, I think. They are? I think so. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. Mm. Very good. Sweet, creamy, coffee. Very, very good. Very rich. If you like coffee and you like ice cream, go get this. <laughs> All right, next one. Pretty much the same thing. This one has chocolate chips in it. We ate this one already earlier, a few days ago. And that's what it looks like. Basically, their coffee ice cream, but with crunchy bits in it. There we go. Which do you prefer? <laughs> mm -hmm. Actually, the coffee... Taste comes out stronger, I think, in this one. I feel. It's a little more bitter, no? No. For me, it is. Because the sweetness, like, makes it, like, kick on the extra bitter. No. All <laughs> I taste is, like, chocolate? a lot of chocolate. Maybe I gave you too many chocolate chips. <laughs> but, but I prefer the, the plain? purely okay. plain coffee. Mm. It has a richer coffee mm. flavor. Okay. Well, to me, it's... Similar, but more bitter because the sweetness <laughs> throws it off. <laughs> the sweet chocolate chips. I don't know. I Anyways. My taste buds are off. My taste right buds now. are off. <laughs> okay. Now we have coffee chocolate brownie. Let's see if this one can beat the regular coffee. Let's just suck on ginger <laughs> to cleanse our palates. Eat ginger? <laughs> we need the, the sushi bitter, uh, sushi ginger. Uh-oh. These things are not peeling right. There we go. All right, brownie. I don't know if I should give you a bunch of brownie or just a little. There you go. Mm. 
Hmm. Hmm. I taste less coffee in this. I don't know. Or maybe because I ate three in a row. <laughs> oh. Oh. What it happened? is bitter. What? You got the... That's what I got from the chocolate chip one. <laughs> okay, so I, I just ate the chocolate part and it had Maybe that... the chocolate's bitter. It has like the dark chocolate flavor. Like, yeah, but I... So maybe that's what it was. I intentionally ate just the coffee part and... Mm -hmm. It didn't taste much like coffee. It tasted Less. more like the bourbon. It has mm. that alcohol, like fermented huh. taste to it. I don't Sweet. want it. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. They're all sweet cream stuff to me. They all taste... <laughs> no. But that's lower on the list of all the rest of them. <laughs> all right. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I think... Okay, never mind. No, that one's more bitter. That one's okay. down there with the cherries yeah. for Okay. Me. Cookies and cream. I've never seen haagen cookies and cream, so let's see how this tastes. I usually don't like cookies and cream. Really? Okay. They're like, whatever. <laughs> Let's see. Wait, so what do you think of the bl uh, black and white cookie? I, I, one? I loved it. Okay, so let's try this one then. Hmm. Yeah. I need more cookie bits in this one. <laughs> yeah, I prefer the black and white. I need more cookie bits in this one. I think the black and white had more cookie in it. Or it could be the scoop. I don't know. The cookies aren't super crunchy or hard or anything, but uh, with cookies and cream, I don't know, it varies with your scoop, so I don't know, since I haven't eaten a whole bunch of it, sometimes it could be different, but you never know. I All had right. a lot of cookie, and the black one no. is still better, okay. way better. Way better. Okay. Next one, before I wash the spoons. We got... Okay, we already know this one's good as well. Creamy mango. I think this is the one I opened before. Oh, wait. Since when do I leave the thing on? I usually never leave that on there. <laughs> Weird. Who is the culprit? <laughs> I mean, I opened it, so... Yep. Wait. Is this a... We ate this one with a cone. How did... Did I open a second one somehow? <laughs> that don't... doesn't look like enough for a cone on that one. Anyways... Hmm. I really like this one. Best <clears throat> mango ice cream. Mm -hmm. Very good flavor. It's nice with the little chunky bits in it. I really like this one. Very Definitely creamy. at the top of my list. Very creamy, thick. Sad thing is, when I went back, I went to four different ones and I only found one more, so... <laughs> okay, gotta wash the spoons. I'll be back. The cups are getting closer. All right, let's go. Next one. Double Belgian chocolate chip ice cream. So, the ice cream is chocolate. Wait, oh, double Belgian chocolate chip. It doesn't say the ice cream is chocolate, but I'm guessing that means the chocolate ice cream is Belgian chocolate. These chips on top look very, like, crumbled up, so let's see. It looks like the chocolate shell stuff that they put. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. The chocolate's like very thin. Like chocolate bark or something. That very thin chocolate that's all crumbly. Very strong chocolate flavor. I prefer the plain chocolate ice cream, but <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I do too, do but if you it's really decent. Lo love if you really like, like chocolate, Godiva, like Belgian chocolate, mm -hmm. then I think they will like this better. Mm. Okay. But the crunch is really nice. Mm. Okay, this one's probably going to be really sweet. So we got Dulce de Leche Churro. Let's see. <clears throat> Dulce de Leche is like... um condensed milk that they boil it in it in the can for a long time till it turns brown so I make some my aunt has this recipe for some cookies and they're pretty good so 
let's see how it tastes in ice cream form. Okay, I don't see any of the, oh, maybe that? Churro? <laughs> Where's the churro bits? That's what I want to know. Am I getting any churro? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know where the churro is. The problem with these small taste tests is if there's like chunks of churro randomly like in a giant scoop, I'm not gonna know. You got one? Mm -hmm. Is it good? Yeah, I didn't get any churro. I got dulce de leche and ice cream, which is good. I think I need a scoop to find some churros. <laughs> I don't see. Here we go. Okay. So I think that's. Is that churro? I don't know. It's just a little dot. Oh, here's a bigger chunk. Okay. So let's try this. Okay. Hmm. Crunchy. Mm hmm. It's crunchy. A little bit harder and crunchier than the pretzels, actually. And the chunks are bigger. <laughs> you get that sugar cinnamon flavor of the churro. It's, it's pretty good. I actually like it. Yeah. What do you think? I like it too. I like it. I think if you mix um, coffee, hmm. chocolate, and <laughs> them all dulce, together, <laughs> then you'll get a Vietnamese coffee. Yeah. Maybe. Vietnamese <laughs> coffee flavor. <laughs> we should try that. <laughs> try mixing some flavors. Okay. Next one we got honey salted caramel almond. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> get off! <laughs> what is this? <laughs> It does not want to be consumed. Okay, there we go. I usually Too bad. don't like salted caramel. Okay, let's see. I don't know. Yeah, it depends. Sometimes they make it too salty. Let's see. I still have churro flavor in my mouth. Oh, there's like... Dulce salty? de leche stuff under there. <laughs> oh, I guess that's the caramel. Oh, that's salty. Hmm. Nutty. Mm-hmm. I kind of like it, but it's more on the salty, savory side than the sweet, like, what I would think of dessert flavor, I think, I feel. It's more salty than sweet, definitely. Yeah. And then the almonds are kind of, like, it crunches with the flavor. To me, it's like a cookie, almost. <laughs> I don't know. It's nice, but... I don't know. My brain thinks of it differently, not like as a sweet dessert. Because it's more like salty, crunchy something. <laughs> Cracker cookie. <laughs> I like it because it's not sweet. <laughs> you like it because it's not sweet? Okay. So if you don't like sweet desserts, maybe you'll like it. <laughs> not every dessert has to be sweet. Just unhealthy, I think. Okay, oops, I might have been going, like, not alphabetical order. Anyways, here's Irish cream brownie. <clears throat> Accidentally, like, mix these in the wrong order. Let's give this a try. This one looks like that crumbly Belgian chocolate thing. Uh-oh, are they getting too melted? <laughs> I don't know if that's because they're, they're all stored in an ice chest, so... I don't know. Here's with a piece of brownie. Hmm. Ah. You taste alcohol? I do. <laughs> but this alcohol I like. You like this one more? Hmm. So maybe you'll like that, whatever alcohol I tasted that's like a coffee with a cream. It's it's pretty good. I don't know. I like the bourbon ones more personally, I think. <laughs> this tastes but, uh, more like Patron, so hmm. I like it better. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so that's what it looks like. The little chocolate bits are barely noticeable. I guess it's just crumb, like brownie crumbs. And the brownie's like really soft, so you don't have like that um, harder layer of brownie like you do with when you bake brownies. At least that's what I got from it. <laughs> Does it taste salty to you? Not that much, is it? Le less than the salted caramel, mm, but it does bit. have mm. that salty taste. Mm. Okay, I ran out of spoons because I double tasted one, so I 
Gotta wash them now. All right, let's go ahead and try matcha green tea. Okay, let's see how this tastes. There were a few extra left in the freezer, but I didn't taste it yet, so I'm not sure how good it is. Hopefully, I mean, hopefully it's good, but hopefully it's not like, oh, this is the best because then I missed my chance. <laughs> now they're way expensive. When I bought these, they were two seventy nine dollars on sale. Okay. I'm going to try the... Disappointed. Disappointed? Okay, good. I didn't buy more of them. <laughs> it's not as strong as I was expecting, the matcha flavor. I feel it's um pretty light of a matcha flavor. So you'd have to eat quite a bit, I think, to get that strong matcha taste. Um, but yeah, I guess that's why it says delicate and distinctive. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting those high-end sushi restaurant mm. matcha ice cream flavor. Uh, yeah, the, the ones at the sushi restaurants are much, like, stronger in flavor. Alright, now we got mint chip. I personally like mint ice cream. I don't know if you do, but... I don't. Okay, so she probably won't like this one. This lid is being a pain. There we go. Okay. So mint is kind of like one of those that I know a lot of people don't like. Um, this one doesn't have the green color to it, so I'm, I'm, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because mint's usually green, so <laughs> I don't know how they get the mint flavor. But uh, here you go. <clears throat> I think I like those like fake mint. Where's the mint in this ingredients? I don't even see mint in here. Natural flavor is the mint flavor. <laughs> what is that? Why can't they just say they put mint? Do they not put mint in the mint ice cream? Hmm. It's a very light mint flavor. I feel. Chocolate chips are to be expected. Crunchy. But I feel the flavor of the mint is kind of lighter than you, than I'm used to. Depending on who you are, that might be a good or a bad thing. I don't know. <laughs> Is that what do you think? For me, it's a good thing. <laughs> but it still tastes like someone squeezed toothpaste into my ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so because of association with brushing teeth, it's a bad. <laughs> but I like brushing my teeth. Mm. So it's not good because you're not spitting out the toothpaste? <laughs> All right, next one. We got peppermint bark. Does that taste like toothpaste to you too? <laughs> or is peppermint different of type of mint, so it's okay? <laughs> Why is it pushed in here? Okay, let's get this one open. Find the peel tap. Man, they sealed this one too far down the side. Okay. The red makes me think like strawberries and it makes me go, ooh, this is going to be good. And then it's going to be like mint and chocolate. <laughs> like what? <laughs> All right, let's see here. Oh, that's like, some of it's like melting. Hmm. Yeah. I prefer the, um... What's that chocolate? It's not, is it? It's not God, God, Godiva. It's um, Ghirardelli. I prefer those chocolate square Ghirardelli chocolate squares of this peppermint bark. I like it. You like it? Hmm. It's decent. If you like peppermint bark, but not one of my favorites. <laughs> you like it? I like it, but I won't intentionally buy spend another money oh to buy it though okay so it's good enough that she'll eat it if it's free. like cones <laughs> <laughs> but she like if she has the choice coffee strawberry and stuff like that then you're gonna pick those right 
Okay, what's next here? Pineapple. Okay. Next is pineapple coconut. Let's see how this tastes. I like pineapple flavor. I don't I don't tend to like pina colada stuff, so let's see. But that's kind of a popular mix. Okay, there you go. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, it's actually good. Mm-hmm. Hmm. And it's honest pineapple. Pretty good. They didn't like add sweeteners or something to it. It tastes like pineapple pineapple. <laughs> and the chunks are fibrous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like real pineapple. Mm -hmm. Probably because it is real pineapple. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hmm. This is the perfect mixture of pineapple so, and coconut. This is like um like an actual like coconut ice cream. Um, and then they just put pineapple chunks in it. So the ice cream itself, I don't taste pineapple in it. It's the chunks that give it that flavor. So pretty good. Yeah. All right. Next one, then spoon wash again. All right. And we already tried this one, <laughs> so we know it's good. Pistachio. <clears throat> All right. Got lots of little bits of pistachio in there. And the ice cream's very nice and creamy. This one's like very honest pistachio flavor. I don't taste like a pistachio extracts or anything in the ice cream. So it's basically like a plain cream, sweet cream base. And then they put like chunks of pistachio in it. It's very good. I hate every single pistachio ice cream out there in the market <laughs> because it is fake pistachio flavor. Mm -hmm. But this is, it really tastes like real pistachio yeah. nuts. Yeah, it tastes like actual pistachios, not not the extracts and whatever they use that they pull out of the thing to, what do you call, condense the flavor. <clears throat> but yeah, okay, time to wash more spoons. All right, so she just said that the pistachio one is probably her favorite flavor now. Um, but anyways, the next one we're going to try is rum raisin. Oh, God. <laughs> we'll see if you like this or not. Okay. Let's use this? just one spoon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so usually she doesn't like the black raisins and... So far, she doesn't flavor. like alcohol flavored ice cream. So let's I see. I like alcohol, but not alcohol flavor. Uh, if that makes sense. But there's alcohol in it. <laughs> oh. oh God. Hmm. <laughs> it does okay. taste like rum, though. Hmm. I don't know. These must be like very diluted alcohol flavors because <laughs> alcohol, I'm like, <clears throat> but this I'm like, I, I, I tolerate it. It's okay. It's not like gross. It's like, eh. And then you got the little chewy raisins in there. The raisins don't have a very strong flavor. So yeah, it's all right. Uh, my cousin said that's his favorite flavor. So yeah, um, everybody's tastes differ, so don't go based off what we think is good because you might like different things. Um, but like we said, there's some flavors where we thought we wouldn't like, and they're good, so you never know. And here's sorbet mango. I don't know if anyone pronounces it sorbet, but it's sorbet. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and open this. This is a non-dairy kind, so if you're lactose intolerant, I guess this is good for you. All right, let's open this up. Um, she usually doesn't like sorbet, so I don't know. I think I've tried this in the past and I liked it. So should I use one spoon or two? Yeah, one, <laughs> one spoon. spoon. <laughs> I'm gonna get a bigger scoop. <clears throat> Actually, <laughs> get another spoon. Usually, I really like this one. 
It's like a mango puree that's like soft and smooth. With shit ton of added sugar. Yeah. Excuse my language. <laughs> Look, added sugar, 40 grams. Holy shit. I told you. Two thirds cup of this <laughs> with 40 grams of added sugar. Hmm. Yeah, it's really sweet. But I really like it. No. So, yeah. If you like extra sweet pure mango, you'll probably like this a lot. All right. Okay. Next, Next flavor one. will be Oreo. Has a very nice <laughs> cookie to cream ratio. <laughs> <laughs> Here we have sorbet. This one's raspberry. One Should I get one? <laughs> one spoon. One spoon. <laughs> okay. Have you tried this one before? I have not, but I... I, I have a feeling it'll be similar to the, like, rainbow sherbet kind of thing, but let's see. Cause this I is... hate rainbow. Yeah, I know. So let's see. Actually, <laughs> do I need another spoon again? <laughs> Get another spoon. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Hmm. Hmm. I like it. Sweet raspberry. Tangy. They do put some corn syrup, but yeah, it's pretty good. Sweet, tangy. And yeah, raspberry. You don't get the seed crunchiness if you like that part of raspberries, but hmm. I like it. Pretty good. I actually like the, the sorbets a lot, but uh, it is a lot of sugar, right? This one, 34 grams of added sugar. It doesn't have much sugar to start with though, two grams only. So they add 34 Am I reading it wrong? Oh, yeah, they add 34 to get a total of 36 grams of sugar. Oh, that is surprisingly good. Yeah. The mango one, it starts out with 4 grams of sugar. So, yeah, they add, like, so much sugar to these. <clears throat> okay. But you're eating ice cream, what do you expect? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Do they all, like... Look, this doesn't have that much. 18 grams, only 28 grams total. The other thing is like 40, 50 something, 50 something. Okay, we all know what strawberry tastes like, I would think. You, <laughs> you know what it tastes like. I know I like it. This is also one of my favorites. These are one of the more common flavors. And because it's the more common flavors, it's always available. So when it's always available, that's what I'll pick out of the other ones. It is my favorite mm. brand of strawberry ice cream. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have that Very good. artificially. Yeah. You can see here, the ingredients are very simple. Cream, skim milk, strawberries, cane sugar, and egg yolks. That's it. I love yeah. hogging those. Very good. All right. <clears throat> Next one. We're almost done. We have six, including this one. So six total left. Summer berry cake pop. Try this. Spoil yourself. What? Spoil yourself sweet. Okay. Let's give this one a try. Hey, they cheated us. <laughs> What's with these not full filled ones? Okay. I don't know if there's actual chunks of cake in here, but uh, it looks like depending where you scoop, you might not even get... <laughs> oh, there's a cake. <laughs> so, okay. I'm going to dig deeper because I see some more cake down there. Oops. And let's try this. Hmm. I taste strawberry ice cream with some doughy stuff in there. <laughs> so the white part is extremely creamy, and the mm -hmm. pink part, it tastes like strawberry ice cream. Hmm. Hmm. I prefer the plain strawberry ice cream. <laughs> I don't really care for the cake bits in there. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but, um, I mean, flavor's good. 
Yeah, the cake bits don't have too much flavor, actually, to me. What about it you? does taste like cake pop. Yeah, it it it's true to its name, but I prefer strawberry <laughs> over. <it. laughs> yeah, yeah. I like you it. You like it? It's a very girly <laughs> taste. Girly taste is that how, is that how it works? <laughs> if you're a dude and you like cake pops, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, vanilla. She says, "Who, who, wait, who wastes their money on vanilla ice cream?" <laughs> so, if you're a boring person and you like vanilla, <laughs> hey, don't put them down. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You can eat vanilla, but you should add stuff in it. <laughs> like what? Like strawberries or whatever's in the other ones. I don't know. Hmm. Tastes like a vanilla ice cream. <laughs> I was just eating the lid. <laughs> okay. Here we go. There you go. Just one spoon's fine. <laughs> what? <laughs> mm-hmm. Very rich, creamy vanilla ice cream. So yeah, if you like vanilla ice cream, this is really good. Okay. Um, it's not very exciting, but it's good. <laughs> All right. Am I going to need, okay, I think I only, do I only need one spoon for this one? Yeah. Vanilla bean. Okay. So here we have vanilla bean. All right. Let's give it a try. This one felt way creamier when I scooped it. Because it's melted a little bit. I mean, all of them were out in the same time. <laughs> okay, so vanilla bean. I prefer vanilla bean over vanilla. Hmm. Yeah. It also has like a very slight grittiness to it. Not much. But I, I like the flavor of this better. A little bit of excitement. A little, yeah. A little Sprinkle step bit. up. <laughs> Okay, let's get the spoons washed, and we'll be back for the last three. <laughs> All right, so now we got vanilla chocolate chip. More excitement. <laughs> A little more excitement. <laughs> this one, did they use vanilla bean or just the regular vanilla? I think they just used the regular vanilla. Uh, they removed was, part of the excitement. Yeah, too much excitement. <laughs> okay, so let's give this one a try. Oreo, you can't eat this one. <laughs> Don't worry, we got some for you later. <laughs> oh, one spoon. Okay. <clears throat> so, vanilla chocolate chip. How's that? Mm. The original vanilla with crunchy stuff in it. Yeah. Yeah. It's meh. I think I prefer the vanilla bean and probably even the regular vanilla over the one with chocolate chips in it. Um, okay, then we got vanilla Swiss almond. <clears throat> All right. The chocolate chips were too much of a distraction in that one. <laughs> okay. What's this? Vanilla Swiss almond. There's like chocolate on the almonds. Shake another spoon, no? Okay. Mm. I like the chocolate chunks better in this than the chocolate chips. How is it different? It's nice. I like the almond flavor in it. Because mm -hmm. there's there's actual almonds like coated in it. It's very good. If you like almonds, this has a very nice almond flavor when you chew up those chocolate bits. Really good. I like it. Okay. But it's still vanilla based. It's still vanilla based. All right. I think she tried this one already. I don't know if you liked it though. Uh, white chocolate raspberry truffle. I mean, you picked it over the bourbon one, so <laughs> it's not like a much competition to know if it's good or not. Just give me real bourbon, <laughs> not bourbon flavor. Not bourbon flavor. Get another spoon. Okay. 
so this one's good. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. The chocolate flavors are, um, I mean, the chocolate bits are soft. Mm, has that nice raspberry flavor with the ice cream. I really like this one. It's pretty good. Okay. And we got one more special flavor. <laughs> It's not Hagen Dawes, but it's uh, maybe Hagen Dogs. <laughs> <Want some? laughs> taste test. Let's let's taste test this. It seems like it's probably mostly peanut butter ice cream, so we'll see. And then Oreo can <laughs> see. Is he gonna eat it? Oh, Oreo he loves it. it. He loves he it. He absolutely loves it. He dropped it. You dropped it. I'm gonna see what it tastes like. <laughs> I read the ingredients. It seemed mostly like peanut butter ice cream. Whoa. It's peanut butter ice cream with no sugar. <laughs> <laughs> because sugar is bad for dogs. Yeah. So, yeah. If you want, you can actually eat this as well. <laughs> Here you, you go. Can you try some? <laughs> you want me to try it? Try really? It. Try it. If it tastes bad, I will slap him. <laughs> no, don't let him like it. It is salty, yeah. peanut buttery. Yeah, but no sweetness. No sweetness. <laughs> yeah. Salty peanut butter. <laughs> Not sweet. <laughs> Pretty much. And yeah, those are all the flavors. Okay, let's see. So we're going to now, let's pick like our top three. <clears throat> Let me open my phone and see. I have you to know? say pistachio is my number one number flavor. One? Hmm. I need my list. I forget. I like the mango one a lot. <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> and then Both the, mango the ones. next one would be the chocolate cone. Chocolate cone? Huh. Salted Interesting. caramel chocolate Interesting. cone. Here, let's go lit up this one. Here. Here. <laughs> I'm trying to find my list. Pause. <laughs> He's eating the lid. As you can see, Where Oreo is... absolutely loves his ice cream. <laughs> Are you done? Hey, where's my... My app is missing for this one, so... Oh, no, 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 no human Don't ice cream. Don't eat those ones. Oreo, here. Okay. My app is missing from this phone. So I need to find the list and I'll be back. <clears throat> okay, so oops, here are all the flavors. Personally, I think I liked creamy mango, mango sorbet, and strawberry the best. Maybe raspberry sorbet. I like fruit flavors of stuff a lot. So that those are my picks. Um, if we're going with just ones that I like that I'd probably buy again, the black and white cookie. Um... Butter pecan, caramel cone, chocolate, chocolate chip cookie and uh, cookie dough. Um, personally, I don't like peanut butter ice cream that much as much. Um, I did like the cherry one. Coffee. Um, what else? These are all. The dulce de leche pretzel was pretty good. <clears throat> Uh, pineapple coconut was pretty good. Pistachio. Um, I already picked those. And I think that's it. The Swiss almond was also good. But if I were just going to out to go buy them, I would probably buy mango, mango, and strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Software updates go away. It turned on night mode. Stop it! <laughs> my number one is, of course, pistachio. pistachio, and my number two is black and white, and I'm going to have a very long number three list. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Caramel cone. No, uh, the... stop it. I mean, spam, spam. Dulce de leche, chocolate, uh, chocolate chip cookie dough, mango ice cream, the, the creamy one. Yeah, the pineapple and coconut. <clears throat> Peppermint bark 
And what is this last one? The, the raspberry one. The raspberry one, and then the cake the pop. That's a long. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that's a third of them, I think. <laughs> That means she likes a, at least a third of them, <laughs> so that's good. But Hagen Dazs is my favorite brand yeah. of ice cream. Mm. Actually, the only brand that I eat. So if you work at Hagen Dazs, please <laughs> call me. We need to be BFFs. <laughs> my right. phone number is three six zero. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully, you guys like this video. Hopefully, you find some of these flavors and give them a try. And I'll see you all in the next one.